Welcome everyone to the uh, final game of the 2018 U.S. Star Wars CCG National Championship. We are looking at game two between Mr. Tom Hayde, who is the dark side player at the top of your screen, playing Agents of the Black Sun, and uh, No Limit, Mr. Steven Salucci, who's the light side Yane Tatooine careful planning deck at the bottom of your screen. Um, I am joined here by Reed Smith, who uh, is, he's muted, but he'll, he'll, he'll chime in in a second. Um, oh, and, and Tom's being nice to spread out all the effects so that we can see them. Um, right now, Salucci started the Tatooine system and did careful planning to get Shmi's Hut. Uh, Slave Quarters, I guess, is the actual name of the card. Um, I must be allowed to speak that's going to pull the farm and give him use pile pulls if he goes over to Tatooine, which he probably won't want to in this matchup, we'll talk about in a minute. And uh, like my father before me, to make Jedi Luke a, a amazing card, and Walkling for the extra activation. Whereas Darkseid starts prepared defenses, uh, wipe them out before me, which lets, or wipe, wipe something. That <laughs> let's <laughs> wipe, wipe wipe all of them me. out. Something wipe before me. <laughs> wipe when you you know wipe and then just wash your hands. All right, and um, and that'll let him activate one if he's at a battleground on light side's turn. Shadows, which lets you pay one to pull a course on site, including the all important two zero course on site that the emperor plays free to, and um, and does a ping if. Emperor can draw one from Force Pile if it Coruscant, and if you are at three battlegrounds at the same time, Light Side also has to lose one, and he can do that on both players' turns. And then something special planned for me, which lets Tom grab a card for free and possibly retrieve a starship as well. Um, so Result of game one, uh, Tom by 16, right? Tom won by 16 with his Diplo over Salucci's Dark Senate. Did you want to slap that up on the screen, Joe? Under uh, Tom's name or anything? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. For mid mid-game. Um. So this is a rerun of last uh, last match, last streamed match. Yeah, we're, we're already talking, so yeah, they yeah, can start as go. soon as they're ready. Thanks for checking. And I was piloting the Agents deck against uh, against Steven's uh, Tatooine Yane deck. Yeah, so if you are uh, a newer player or unfamiliar with these cards um we're gonna we're gonna briefly go over them and bring them up but um yane has been streamed twice today before first against uh goglin's tto and then second against a black sun reed smith was piloting and so um a lot of the stuff will we may repeat ourselves a little bit if you did watch that um but uh if you haven't watched that you may want to go back and watch that for some more in-depth look at at the match to um so I'm really keen to watch this match, not only to see what Tom has in store, and here we see some early action with a rescue in the clouds, and it goes straight on something special planned for them. There uh, he's got is. Jicks, an array, and a control. He wants all of those. <laughs> <laughs> all of those are great. So the, then, the, the control lets him dig through his force pile, Ray lets him get to use pile pull, and the Hoojinx will protect me when she pulls down to the hut to pull 3PO. Um, Probably going to depend on what's in his hand, because he wants to get the Yane combo going uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, and if he and if he has 3PO already and doesn't need Smee, then he doesn't need the Hoojinx. Um, and Yane is so good on Coruscant against this deck, because she activates a force every time the dark side character deploys a character to same or related site, so that works all same across adjacent. Coruscant. Is it same or adjacent? adjacent oh, okay, yeah. right, right. He needed to pick it up a sixth time to read it. <laughs> it's no, because then somebody would have won, won some money somewhere. That's right. So, uh, I'd fanfare for the Zizer's bounty. Shizor's bounty. That's uh, pretty pretty standard play. Yeah. So fanfare lets you grab an immediate effect, which Shizor's bounty is almost like a barrier. It says if you've got a Black Sun agent, you can pay one, and the character who just deployed to that site did cannot see, battle, what, um, though they Steven can still took, move. Did he take took control? There it is. He did take yeah. the control tunnel, and it looks like he has a Nabern in hand, a Jedi Luke, a Padme. So, um, so he's kind of set up to go attack. So, see, I'm interested to see what Tom has in store in his agents deck, and I'm also really interested to see uh, Steven pilot this deck um, again. I guess he's been playing it uh, online, yeah. is what he told me, and I'm shocked because I do uh, believe it or not. I'm, I, you know, I observe games on Gemp here and there, Gemp, uh -huh. however you say it. Um, and I was, man, Tom's coming right down with a with a Vigo. I, I, did he pull that? He pulled it from reserve deck. Yeah. So um, that indicates to me that he has Guri in hand. It's a and it's a non V uh, Vigo that Vigo I don't know uh, that All so it deploys free on Coruscant. It's going to be four foot six with Sizor and um, 
and it can drain plus one if you're flipped and he's at a non-course on site. That Which probably will happens. not come into play here, um, but theoretically, if one of them was over on, on Tatooine, the large farm. Um, Justin Desai points out that control tunnel can cancel Shizor's bounty since it is an immediate effect. Yes. And uh, so that could be big for attacking, but Tom does stack Look two more Vigos. Oh, so they are, are they three, three dot, dot aliens. Okay, he right, has now right. maxed out the number of Vigos he has, and Black Sun agents move for free to Shizor's palace. So he, what he did with Shadows is he paid one to pull Shizor's palace, which downloaded the sewers for free, and he moves everyone out and flips his objective, and draws a couple, and he's going to be able to draw his whole force pile, basically, and then use wipe to activate one on Steven's turn to still be able to, to pay one for the Shizor's bounty, and that's exactly what he does. Yeah, so Vigo's reached Unless. power at three, so there's 14 power at the site, Gogolin points out, and, and a whole bunch of forfeit. So that's a, a pretty good start. Um, I think if one of those Vigos was from reserve deck, that was a mistake to waste the pull on that when you already have two of them to just go for a third, um, unless he's just like has super worried about a turn one Jedi Luke and something else. But um, I don't know that I would use my bounty or my Black Sun agent pull from the system. Yeah, and this really inhibits, I mean, where's the Emperor? I who knows how many emperors um, uh, Tom is playing, but when you're playing shadows, you either emperor start, which I don't like, and I, I can talk about why in a minute. But um, you or you're it's playing pretty, it's like five of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we're think we're in agreement. A lot of people do like the emperor start. Here's here's just a it's simple reason to course. explain. Yeah, against throne room you could alternate. I I, I don't even play it as a alternate against throne room. I just it's not worth the card slot to me. But when you're when you're running a bunch of I, I think you're gonna play five, maybe even six. I ran six. Yeah, I ran six emperors today, and then uh, as you as you guys saw on the I stream, anybody who was, who, who was watching, I ended up using uh, I open handed according to my design, and ended up using its uh, very infrequently used lost text, using three force to pull the emperor from deck. Did you catch? Is that that? No, we saw you lose according to my design, and we're like, what made him lose a force here? We were so <laughs> confused. Yeah. Apparently, it has lost text. Yeah. I'm gonna pull that pull that up right now. That's how I That's got amazing. the emperor out that game because I didn't. Um, uh, I didn't open hand one. So. Um, and fortunately, Stephen uh, did not pull Goldenrod against me, so I was able to use the Imperial Square to deploy the emperor for free. So we saw you use force, force, and yeah. we were thinking it was for Professor. It was for the according to my design, um, which says what? Were you using some weird old text? Oh, maybe I was. Shit, I cheated. Uh, so, according to my design, does not do that, and yeah, Reed terrible. Smith may have Jeez. may have had a very old uh, V slip. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Vikram says that text got ratted off. That was Caldra said that was before the reset. FML. Oh my gosh, it lost that text. All right. So, anyone streaming, ignore that um, sweet play from Reed, but then he ended up... I thought up... it was a sweet play. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> this reminds me of the time, like, last year at Nationals or something, I grabbed the wrong card with Strike Force against Matt Scott. I was playing Throne Room, and I was saving my Strike Force for uh, Dark Time for the Rebellion, and uh, I grabbed something else on Strike Force, and then I just put it in Lost Pile to retrieve a ship because I wanted to grab Dark Time, and then I retrieved it with Walkling and tracked it around and drew it and slapped it back down and grabbed the Dark Time, and I wrote a report about it, and I felt so good. And then Phil was like, uh, yeah, it's once per game. And I was like, darn it. I made, <laughs> I made what I thought was a sweet play. Yeah, you, oh, but you, it was illegal. You can't grab a card again it's if once you retrieve it. Interesting. Card, yeah. So, um, so enough about he, me being he, a cheater. He Back plays, to the he plays Shmi using the, the text to pull her, and she pulls 3PO, who goes to the farm. He doesn't want to put them together, because if Shmi does get battled by like a, a probot or a Dr. Aphra or something, he doesn't want to lose 3PO. 3PO is pretty great in this as a manipulation card to cycle around with Yane and do different tricks. So um, that's why he separates them there. And Steve seems pretty content here to uh, just chill and take Set one, up a one hand. point of damage probably from the objective uh, pool battle plan and Tom unlikely to pay three for a drain of one because uh, we, we saw in Steve's hand he's already got so match for move for a game. Whoa, one big thing that will be important in this game that I just noticed is the Coruscant system that is on table is the special edition one meaning it does not become a battleground like the one that Reed Smith was playing meaning um, he can't 
he can't use that for third battleground for shadows. He's if he wants to go to space and drain free, he has to go to Tatooine and and as we've seen in this Yane deck, it's pretty strong in space with the Acclimator, Anakin, and um, KFC, Calfal, reducing their destiny to zero. So this is probably a good time, real quick, for me to talk about Yane, if you if you weren't watching the games earlier, if, if you're just watching this on YouTube later. And um, Yane is a V1 card um, that, if she is with Padme or Amidala, Oh, I pull up. I'm gonna try and pull up the card here for you. Um, she can peek at cards, the card on top of your reserve in your force pile, and either leave them where they are or swap them. And where this combo comes into play is if Luke is at a battleground, like my father before me says, you can put a card from hand onto force pile. So what you do is you put a destiny six or seven onto your force pile with like my father, and you use Yane to examine your force and reserve and switch them. So now you've switched a high destiny onto the top of your deck, and you can use tricks like Calfal, who says if you draw a destiny higher than them, and you both just drew one battle destiny, theirs is reduced to zero. Um, so you use evac control to limit you to both only draw one, and then Calfal to reduce theirs to zero by stacking a high destiny with Yane. So all of the um, all of the battles that you have can be really favorable, and uh, and the fact that there is no second system means that. Salucci can just can play that whole combo to Tatooine and force Tom to pay to drain, not get an extra battleground for shadows. Um, that's I, that's I think that's a uh, a really big could come in really big this game. That that Coruscant system specifically being the uh, the one that can't turn into a battleground. Did you speculate at all about what Tom might be playing for space? Um, that's a good question. I think Black Sun generally, I like to play just Fist and Zuckus and throwing agents on like Crackfet and stuff, but I know a lot of people tend to play Boba Fett V and Slave 1. Yeah, combat but, response, yeah. But With combat response, but I don't see combat response on table, and I feel like you would start that if you see your opponent start a system, so um, I, I don't know, I'm not sure what, what sort of space he's going to have. Uh cool some shout outs in the chat for for appreciating the commentary appreciate hearing that guys thanks um we've been enjoying ourselves here and hopefully you have too um okay so let's see we just talked about yane and some of the combos she can do um in general as whoa we just walking back the jedi council chamber that's big he so so uh black sun is flipped and he does a ping damage for um for being flipped, she's always at a battleground site, and Luke is not. And uh, so it Force looks like Slucci top decked one, which was the JCC, and he knows he's going to want that activation. So he places Walkling out of play to retrieve it. Obviously, the downside to that is now he loses the Walkling activation all game. Um, if so he has a speaking hand, he's probably not too terribly disappointed about that. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, that's that's. Yeah, he he. The other thing though is the cool part about Walkling is you can pay three to take into hand a card that deploys another card. And one of those is a, the new Destiny 7 counter because it deploys on a um, Star on a starship or a vehicle. And so he can take that Destiny 7 into hand and then Yanni it and pop it on top. <laughs> so uh, he's not going to be able to get to do that this game now that he's burned Walkling. Yep, Emperor's uh, 2-0 site comes down and Emperor comes down free to it. And they're going to Ellis Alice a bunch Whoa. of dudes over on top Three of Shmi. Double backs of Destiny. Um, and... He did not take the Hujix turn one. He took the control tunnel. So unless he has a skate pod combo here, he may be... Oh, so he grabs Ellis, it looks like. He he just paid one. I'm not sure why else. what else would he would be paying. 3PO. Oh, he was 3PO-ing. Okay. thought he took that. Desperation 3PO. Desperation 3PO looking for Hujix or escape pod. Real quick final. What's the power there? Uh, 14. Fourteen in destiny to one, and it, he subtracts one from the destiny, and she's four foot five, I believe. So um, she covers six plus one for minus one is seven versus fourteen in a destiny. So Suchi's right now looking at dealing seven plus a destiny if he doesn't deploy anything else. Um, that would be a rough turn two, especially when you looked peeked at the Hujix and then didn't take it. Yes, they, I believe they. Have to be at a, a battleground, um, 
but sounds right. But what do I know? <laughs> oh, that's a virtual one. Let's uh, see if I can find a non-virtual Vigo. Uh, well, a non-course on battleground site, and you're flipped. Train plus one here. Yeah, so. Right. And, yeah, yeah. It's it's not cumulative, but it will still add one to a drain if he's at the farm. Um, but I think he's mostly just looking for that beat down here. Oh, defensive and neighboring. Oh, and he for draws a five. Oh, he only man. has he only has a small number in life force. He was, he was a panic. Uh, he doesn't want to peel seven. If he it looks like he's got four in force. One, two, three, four. That's tragic. And he drew a five. So if he could have drawn a four or less, then she runs away. Right now he battles. He draws. According to my a, design. According to my design, is a destiny four. So he's losing eleven. Yikes. Yeah. So Shmi and eleven force will go off the top here, and with Tom Hade winning game one by sixteen. To one. It's seventeen to one. He's down. 16. He's Salucci she has on the edge in here. So there's Yane, Luke. Keep your eyes. It could be worse. Rose, Both Hoojinx. Nominees. And there's the ironic Hoojinx at the As end. the last card. <laughs> Yuck. Um, I'm almost disappointed. Ouch. He flips back. No, he doesn't flip back. His eyes are not at a battleground site. Oh. Oh, you see, oh, it's Zizer definitely not too? sight. Yeah. Well, you guys never read Shadows of the Empire, apparently. It's Shizor. Yeah, there's there's like Wikipedia a droid in there that like stretches out the syllable in his name, and he's like, "You got to get this fixed," and he's I've all been pissed at it. Trying to condition myself to say the word properly, but it's I'm like he's so or it says there's this weird droid. It's a good book. It's got Dash Rendar and shenanigans. I liked it. Um, but it's not canon. What card was I looking up? Oh, the Black Sun objective or agents. It starts agents. Ah, uh, because he moved out. Yeah. Yeah. So he. Uh, yes, he's back on the seventh side again. Yeah. So. Agents is the card. Oh, thanks. We need the backside, which says if Luke's at a battleground, or Zizor's not on table, no. So he should not have flipped back. Uh -huh. It's only if Luke's at a battleground. Well, sure. Yeah, so you can shuttle him up Why to the system. Why do then and keep his... Uh, and keep his I don't know, because he looked at it, and then he flipped it. And I don't know. It doesn't matter. He probably wants them out there anyway, so he can, no, no he can do he does, damage yeah. with the objective. And and it's the same, uh, same drain, because they're both a two... The, the uh, Smee's Hut is a two icon, and Large Farm is two drain minus one, but Vigo plus one. So they're both drains a two, and it's an extra battleground for Shadows, and it's uh, and extra ping from the objective. So he, he wanted to move out anyway. So apparently, this is how to play Agents of Black Sun after V9. <laughs> First turn, Alice. <laughs> yeah, spam Vigo and. Caldred um, said, It's a rule of Star Wars cards. You always top deck the Hujik Sash Gik when you get beat down. <laughs> It has to be there just Except to when taunt you're playing you. Watch Your Step or Solos on Table. Yeah. <laughs> it it always it always happens too when you when Solo is the one forfeited from the battle getting beat down and then you're like, oh. So Luke comes out and he gets she's ordered bountied. Um, was the control tunnel played? Must have already been played. He goes it's for a use pile pulls. I think maybe. But I don't I don't think. Yeah, yeah. I think peeling eleven there. Um, he he does. He didn't top deck on the edge. So I mean, he could theoretically at some point retrieve six, and then re he can't retrieve with Rose because she died. But then solo it for another six, and he could still get back in the game. But the problem is, it's going to be tough to get back into it by sixteen. So he does use a speak, especially. Oh, also remember, he lost his uh, neighbor. Yeah. He did. He did lose neighbor. So that's like that's twelve cards there, and uh, a lot of key cards. The neighbor itself, the two Yanes. He's not going to get his engine going this game, which really disappointing. Yeah, and and Shmi is definitely a big liability for this deck. If you've been watching it when its first couple games, you go, "Wow, this looks really good." Like, what are you, what are you worried about if you're light side? And there are some vulnerabilities. Um, Reed took advantage of the same thing, but but by that point, Suchi had been able to find his Hujix. He had his Hujix early against me because I got multiple verifications early in the game and didn't see yeah. it. Um, when I did, when I Alist against him, that was pretty much just a Hail Mary play anyway. Um, the Scarif deck is a lot the same way because it plays uh, General Crix to the War Room, but it at least Crix can instantly pull um, Cal Alder. Um, 
who can deploy as a react there for one and give you ability four to draw destiny and make the opponent pay one to, so it kind of gives you a little bit of a buffer but you do want to get your hujiks in hand as soon as possible to protect that guy that's just sitting there at the non-battle run site mm -hmm. so out comes evac and immediately it stacks jedi luke hear me baby and ray and uh Luke can't battle because yeah. of that she's versus bounty. Steven's probably just kicking himself right now because there's just no reason in the world to risk uh, just to get 3PO out. When Tom had such a, a crazy start, four characters um, uh, on table at the end of his for, uh, for free. first turn. For free. Yeah. All for free, yeah. There's another Yane. Whoa. Three? Yeah, three Yane. Three Yane is right, too bad, right, miss. here we go. So he's, gonna, he's still going to set up. He's going to try and make it a game, but it's... it's... Okay. It, it was our, let's now put it this way. It was already an uphill battle because he was down by 16. So, so right. even if he's favored, he's probably only favored by low teens. Now, and now, now here, it's now here's what, what do you think about this? There's no secret plans on table yet. Yeah, there. And Steven can basically put any card he wants from hand on top of his reserve. Yeah. Reserve. So you immediately go for the on the edge and and do that. No but he can't walkling it back. He can't rose it back. That's the problem. It. He could solo it. But as soon as it's played once, do you, don't you just pull the code clearance? Maybe. Um, but by then, the damage is done. Like, I would take that right now if I had a 7 in, in hand. Yeah. Yeah, with no with no secret plans, if it if it's in hand, if you can find it, basically do it as soon as possible, because there's no, there's no reason to wait when you've got 15-plus cards in, in Lost Pile already. No, it was not. Now, how did Steven end up going into this turn without a card in the force pile? I guess what he saw when he looked with Yane, he wanted to draw it, I guess. But then he didn't put a card back with Luke, or did he? Uh, I don't... Th no, he didn't. Uh, I think he just needed all his force, and, and he's just... It, so at this point, not only behind 16 in the match, peeling 11 to that battle, um, he's just going to have to make riskier plays, including just he's, hoping he doesn't have the first strike yet. And things no like that. And lightsaber on Luke, is that just a byproduct of it was in the force pile? Or, what? Uh, or is there? I, you are correct. Like there is no saber. It looks like 3PO is the bottom card, and then there's the she's versus bounty to Luke. Yeah, so that's that's hurting also. Maybe uh, It, it might have been that the lightsaber was the bottom card. I don't know. And, and then he just all his cards were good, so he didn't want a Luke effect one. Oh, yeah, he just runs away. Oh, no kidding. Wow. And Salucci doesn't have a force to grab it. So now he Multiple can... Multiple Ellis then, I guess. Yeah. Right. Has to be. He, he does play... Yeah, I have... Wow, on stream, these cards literally all look the same. <laughs> I mean, the two XP sites were bad enough, as is, but the sewer, just it, it all just blends together. Yeah, luckily they have to go to a specific order, so you know which one they're at. So he pulls Force Lightning out. Um, I th I'm guessing here. Wait, do they really? I thought the I thought the sewer and the. Uh, no, the sewer's underground. Lane. Remember, that's why you can't oh. shuttle Greedo from it. So it has to go all the way at the end. So it, it literally goes. She's our site. JCC on one side. The the all the exteriors. She's our site. Then the uplink station. Then the sewer. I definitely had some play test games where I stuck the uh, sewer in between the other two sites, so sorry about that, Karuli bros. Yeah, so we moved some dudes over. Now he's going to be able to shadow. Here comes a ping. He points to wipe, but he means shadow. He draws one from force, which makes Sluchi lose one. And now, now with no saber there, Sluchi can pay three to drain one, but it's like he's taking more damage. He's in a bad board position. Um... And and he's lost his neighbor. He only he only plays one neighbor. And, and if he's still at that, it'd be like, well, maybe he can jump over where he's weak and try and get a huge overflow battle. But he, he can solo the neighbor, I guess. Yeah, he does. Like solo is is a real big like saving grace for him right now because there's a lot that he can do with it. He's got Obi Wan in hand. What else? A white board, a red card. A control. Still, he still got control. Is that solo? solo? That's solo. Are you sure? Be, that white board is the third character. Hmm. No, it's Leia. General Leia, yeah. I mean, he's got tunnel vision. He can turn that into anything. I mean, I, I, I still maintain if I if I were in his shoes right now, I'd be looking at uh, the uh, the sneaky on the edge play while Tom refuses to play secret plans for some reason. Nope. Nope. Tom 
has nothing against He saw Rose right go now. off. He probably doesn't think there's a lot of retrieval in the deck. There's not... It's all, obviously not going to be a celebration. There's, you know, Jedi Lev. You can use Lost and... But Yane, Yane's pretty great with On the Edge when you can just swap a high card on the top and... Yes, pretty great is... All right, so um, it looks like it's still Tom's turn, and he's debating shields. He's, he actually picked up his shield, so maybe he's going to pull the secret plans here. Um, he pulls something, but it's face down. It's a secret shield. Okay. <laughs> Very secret plans. This card is a secret. It will be revealed when your opponent takes an action. Um... I'm imagining we're still in uh, Tom's move phase. I'm thinking he's going to move them all together again. There's no need to leave them split up and risk anything. Uh, an EPP Qui-Gon or, you know, EPP Obi, something coming down. Hit a dude, clash a dude, cause overflow. Um, sorry about the mess. There's, there's no need to split up the way he has at the moment, other than just temporarily get the ping damage and then consolidate them back together, I would think. Um, I mean, he he could be holding more defensive cards. He could have Ceasefire Barrier. Uh, She's Wars Bounty is unique, so it, it another one of those won't be able to be played till the first one's gone. But, oh, that's um, a Leia's Blaster Rifle. He's got Leia and yes. her Blaster Rifle. And, yeah, Tom, and Tom just, just gave the stream a heart. He's I think he's very happy with his position right here. Oh, and he's making Shadow Puppets. I don't know what that was. It's it was some kind of weird. Uh... It was borderline vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was I think I saw that creature in the cantina. That was that was his hand Shadow Puppet of Yeb Yeb. <laughs> that was his Yeb Yeb impersonation. Um, Dice Abagon. So Land Blaster Rifle wolf. is yet another thing that could come down and blow him out. So again, I don't think Tom should leave his guys split up like this. There's so is this still Tom's turn, or why is he making uh, Shadow Puppets? I don't know. I, I think Salucci's thinking on Tom's turn. It's Because Tom still has that whole used... Oh, to Shadow. Yeah, he drew okay. with Shadows, and, and Salucci's really agonizing over... Doesn't want to top deck. What card? He doesn't want to risk top decking that on the edge, maybe? end up top decking, though. I think his hand is way too uh, valuable. Every yeah. His hand is way too valuable right now. Yeah, he's got to hope, hope to top deck a speak or something. Here it goes. All right, do it. Just do it, man. Yeah, but if it's solo... Or edge. Rip the bandaid off. Let's go. <laughs> He's counting his. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I don't think life force is yet a concern. Just, no. You know, having lost eleven, but he's you some some tapping the table like he's counting how much he's gonna uh, generate next turn. He does. Oh, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Just lose a card already. You're gonna top deck. No, we no, lost. He lost, lost the Leia's rifle. Blaster Come rifle. On, man. And isn't Leia in his hand? Yes. I'm. I'm pretty sure that's Leia because he has and, a white. And now Tom plays secret plans. Slip on his. Uh, so now the on yeah, the, the sneaky on the edge is gonna take half of half of Salucci's force activation for a turn. So now, what I think Steve is gonna be looking at doing is setting up in space. So at Tatooine. On, yeah. So that he's on a, a sight in the system. And, and then uh, trying to attack, hit and run on. On course, on and while well. still keeping that retrieval in, in mind in the back of yes. his in the back of his mind, well, three PO is still alive anyway. <laughs> oh, do I feel terrible about it? Like I thought this was gonna be a real. I thought this was. Gonna I, be it could have been a really fun game, especially because I think Yane is typically advantaged, and but I don't know that it would be by sixteen, and so I think it would be fun to see if he could Fred, make it sixteen. But you that, know what I have that, to say about this, right? Just another down. game of Star Wars ruined by Ellis or Nabrin. Whoa, hot take. <laughs> What happened? Oh, before. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah but that's but random. He could have yeah, 3 would into something random, random and then lost to Jedi Council. See, um, that white water card is definitely Leia. You can see it there. Usually. Sure, but it's it's random, so... I mean, it's just... That probably should have happened. Yeah. So he pulls Luke's saber. Uh, obviously doesn't pay three to drain one. He needs to get in a much better board state than wasting... Uh, you know, a good chunk of his force that turn. So, um, Tom did leave everybody out. He did leave everyone right? separate. And yeah. And, and, and she's, even yeah, if he has still, a gig. She's with bounties already out. Like, uh, yeah, I think like coming It clears a site. Even if, yeah, even if you have the gig, you get a site cleared. You There's no need to, to spread them out right now to Shadow's damage on 
on Slucci's turn because he's so far ahead, and and next turn he could deploy someone else to a third one and then do more moves and then spread out. But but I I, I guess he just wants to keep the pressure on. He just wants to say, all right, I'm I, yeah, you peeled eleven here. Does You're, have a couple four saved, and I mean he's probably playing barrier. He might even have a third Ellis, so he can run the two the dudes over to the emperor if it's like a hit clash like hit the dudes before before battle he can just be like because whatever destiny draws for ellis they move free to shizor's palace any black sun agent so he can basically if he comes down on either of the vigo sites he can just say ellis move them all over to shizor's palace free even if he draws a six and so that could be another out that he has against against a beat down so he, he might have cards that makes it worth splitting here um, and he probably does, but if not, th that's how I would be playing more conservative now. Once you're up 16 in the match and 11 beat down in the game, no need to risk getting repeat yourself. <sighs> so Slucci plays there, solo. There he is. There's solo. And uh, I think at some point he's gonna go for that Nabarin clash. Sorry. Like right now. Beat down. Very well could be right now if he has the force to. Yane, Padme, and Luke. He's going to attempt to play a loss, and there it is. There's a the neighbor. He draws a four, Unita, to there. And he needs to pay four right now before finding out any sort of response. And so Tom Kelly doesn't get tilted. He, he did put the destiny down first, and now a sense, which Suchi controls. No grab on the sense? No. If he wants us to go through, he should have grabbed. There is a do or do not out on table. Yeah, but uh, if there's a second sense, then yeah, if it's all for naught, and Steven's entire turn is ruined. Okay, so control cancels the first one. Let's see if he has a second one. He does. Yeah, see, ah, oh, man, that was a missed. That was that was yeah. a missed opportunity there by Steve to to if you grab that sense, it looks like Tom only has two four saved. No, he still would have been able to play it though, right? Yeah, because he has two four saved. Yep, so that's fine. So he's letting control cancel the first sense, and then he's playing a second sense on the Navarin, rather than he's not sensing the control, because if he sensed the control, he'd have to lose two to the do or do not, and then if he sensed the Navarin, he'd have to lose another two, so he's just Voyeur. letting the control go through. Voyeur is the uh, sense draw. Voyeur's a good card. So Navarin canceled. Yeah, and that's one of his last hopes. He loses two and the sense, and I think... Uh, yeah, that's the... The only Nabarin. There's no way to like shuttle up dudes, move them over, shuttle down. With basically Luke is stuck now. Han stuck. Yane Padme. So he's left with Leia, Anakin, Obi, Screaming Lando. There's still some good characters, but um, uh, it looks like Forlom non V. Come maybe V. It's Which foil. V? Yeah, there's a V slip. There's a, a foil V slip. V -slip. Okay. Yeah. So a, a Forlom V comes out with double back. I prefer non V, and uh, I love I love V, but in Black Sun specifically, I think non V is really good for canceling Jedi Luke's text to clear him off table and for adding a destiny with Zuckus. And I'm with you on that, as we saw a couple hours ago. Yeah. Someone said, "Is it bad to solo the control tunnel vision to that's cancel the uh, second sense?" But you can't solo twice. He was yeah, solo in the neighboring. Yeah, he played he played the neighboring with solo, and that's Taco Bill from Basil. Yeah. Um, Taco Bill, you exhaust pipe. You are a real hobbit hole. What is Taco Bill on the stream? Yeah, it's, it's, is it's, that who it's from Basil? Basil? That's, yeah, that's that's him. Oh. <laughs> Taco Bill, <laughs> I was gonna go on and make a post, but then I kept forgetting to do it. Where Taco Bill signed up for this month's online championship series on Jimp, and he paid ten dollars to sign up for July, and he's like. And then Jim, Mike Jim signed up, and he was like, Taco made a comment like, oh man, I was hoping to sneak through this month when no one was really noticing during the summer. And then Taco managed to play a total of zero games. <laughs> I was like, Taco Bill, not Oops. only, it's hard to sneak through when you don't play a single game. You just need to go on now and go 12-0 and 0 in the next two days, and you can qualify. Oh, this blows. Now uh, He says at Hem one game. It must have been in the last two days, because I swear two days ago, maybe three, I looked and he had zero games. But apparently, I stand corrected, and Taco is claiming he's played a game. 
which he probably lost. <laughs> he says already one and zero, or I mean zero and one. <laughs> yeah. Now Tom's just Tom's just paying three to drain for one, paying three to drain for one. Yeah, yeah. Why not? He's got the this force, and then, he can, and then he can, and then he can shadow twice. Uh, it's ruined by Ellis Hellrider. All anyways. right. I you know I I don't think so. I think that's a part of the game. And and Salucci had options. He literally played Rescue in the Clouds first turn and looked at Hujinx and chose not to take it when he's playing Shmi to a vulnerable site. Um. We're still live. Said disconnected. Can can you guys still give us some confirmation that we're still? Yeah, alive? we just OBS just popped up a thing saying maybe it's not streaming anymore, but it still says streaming. Can you say if you hear us? Um, all right, we'll just talk for the moment, assuming you can. Even if it's not streaming, it's still recording, so on YouTube, so they'll be able to see it later. So you're cool, um, you're cool with uh, with Ellis and Neighboring, like just being able to just end games like that. I, I mean, am. This, this is this is the finals of the of the United States Nationals. And right, and he should have he should have taken the Hujix. There's so many answers to it, and um, a lot of X play insurrection. Uh, oh nope, they said down for me. Can't hear. Froze crashed. Yeah, um, it looks like the stream crashed. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and what a bummer. stop the recording. All right, and and re restart.